Hey, this is Chris with Affiliate Tuber, and I finally got around to doing a video on the Yive SMB version or the small business version. This is actually becoming one of my favorites to use because I've been doing a lot of mass video marketing with it, which is what I'm going to show you in this demo of the Yive SMB version. Now, you can use it as individual videos too, which I'll kind of briefly go over that as well. And the setup is pretty much the same as what it is with the Amazon version or the Yivecaster. You have to have an API from your uh, Google account. So make sure you do that. And the other thing that I'm going to recommend is that we're noticing that YouTube starting to really crack down and ban on YouTube accounts, especially ones if you're using them for um, just promoting affiliate products on, if you're just um, basically, if you have a YouTube account and that's the only thing you're using it for is uploading videos, there's a good chance it's going to get banned. So what we're learning is that you should try to season your YouTube account before actually adding it to Yive uh, to keep it safe, to keep it longer. And basically that means access the Gmail account, uh, send a couple emails, subscribe to a couple newsletters. And you can also go into your Google Drive account, create maybe a spreadsheet with, you really don't have to put hardly anything in it. Uh, maybe create a Google document. Just some things to show them that you're active throughout that entire account or that entire Google account, not just uploading videos to YouTube because we think that's becoming a main trigger for them banning YouTube accounts. So keep active, go into the YouTube account, uh, make some changes to it, watch a few videos, like a couple videos, subscribe or whatever, do that for a few days and then add it to your Yive account and, and it should make a big difference on how long your accounts will last. Okay, so I've already done that and I've already added my, um, if you go to YouTube and go to Google API keys, I've already added my account here. I've already synced it. And if you haven't done this yet, if you don't understand how to do that, go back to the very first video, the one on Yive Amazon, and I give you a full demonstration of how to set all that up. Okay, so what you wanna do is go up here, click on campaigns and click on create account. Now you wanna give it um, a name and for this one, I'm gonna be targeting uh, CBD products. So I'm just gonna type CBD. And for campaign type, you can do specific business, general business, or use your own video. Now when I market with mass videos, I always use my own video. And what I do is I create it using Content Samurai and I've actually got reviews of that product on my YouTube channel. Um, I'll put a free trial link for it under this video in the description. You guys can check it out there. But what I'll do is basically just create some video clip slides, put them together, and then I will record uh, maybe a minute of my own voice just talking. And the way I do that is I will find a website about CBD and I will just record my audio reading off some of the text from the page. So really simple to do. All right, so next what you wanna do is you wanna add your keywords and I've already got my keyword list made up. So let me bring it over here. I'm just gonna go down here and copy all these. You wanna make sure they're comma separated. And what it's gonna do is every one of these keywords is gonna take and make a separate video of. And it's going to use every one of these keywords as your video title and you can put it in your description and also in your tags by using this keyword right here, this short code. So what you would do is down here in video title, I would just click in the box and then click on keyword. And what that would do on video one, it would take this and use it as the video title. And then video two, it would take the second keyword and so on throughout all the keywords. Now, I wanna make it more than just this keyword though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that then I'll put a semicolon and then I have also some other spin tags I'm gonna to add to the end of the title. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And so it's gonna be my keyword and then it's gonna pick from one of these four um, short sentences here to put after the keyword. Now in my description, I want my keyword first again. So I'm gonna put my keyword. And then what I wanna do is put my web address in here. If you have a web address, if you have an affiliate link or whatever it is. And then after that, you want to paste in your description. Now I'm gonna show you how I get my description. And I, for a long time, for years, I used an online spinning tool. 
and I've actually switched over the past month to a new one and you can find it at tbspinner.com that links also under this video and what I'm going to do is show you how I use it for this and how easy it is to use to create uh, spun content for your video descriptions especially when you do mass video marketing okay so here it is I'm inside of it it's called the best spinner it's at tbspinner.com and I'm going in my projects here and what I've done is I'm importing an article of my own now you can use their own PLR articles and you can also sync it up to article builder if you have access to that tool but what I'm going to what, what I done was I just gave it a title of what is CBD and I went to Google I done a search for what is CBD and I took some content off the website and I put it in here and now what I want to do is click import and it's going to import that article I'm going to double click on it and we can see here this is now the article now all I have to do to rewrite this is super easy I click on code and then I click on this little bulb here which is auto spin so you click that and it's done it automatically spun all the content for me so what I want to do I'm not going to um, mess with the title here but I want this content I'm just going to copy all of it and we're going to go back here and I want to paste and now we have our spun content so every time it creates a new video from one of these keywords it's going to spin up all this content now what I also want to do is I want to use my main keyword for each video at least two maybe three times throughout the description so I'm just going to copy this here and I'm going to go down the video and maybe this paragraph here I want to put it right at the beginning and then clear at the end I'll put something like I hope you enjoyed this video on and then we'll paste it again so that's going to use that keyword so now we have our keyword three times in our description it's at the beginning of our title and also for our tags we want it to be our first tag so we just put keyword here and I think I also already have some tags made up so I'm going to copy them and paste them okay next is intro text so this part here is one thing that makes your video unique from all the other videos and so what you want to do here is what I do is I just put insert keyword okay so once again it's going to show our keyword at the very beginning of the video before it starts playing the video that I'm going to upload so it's just going to be a white screen there's going to be a white background and there's gonna be black text that has the name of our main keyword okay so the main video I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video that I had made for this so you click upload video then upload a new file and here's my video I'm gonna click open and we're gonna let it upload okay it's done uploading so now we're gonna come down here to outro text now the outro text is the same thing as the in intro text it's gonna take our main keyword if that's what we want to use and that's what it's going to show with a white background or whatever color you choose or image you choose uh, I just leave it white and then I leave the text black and then after that you can upload thumbnails so if you want a thumbnail to show on your video instead of it just showing a random part of your video you can do that so there's three different ways you can do this you can do what they call upload randomly so you can upload thumbnails and it'll randomly pick from those thumbnails or you can do individual thumbnail for each keyword so if you click this it's going to have every video here that it's going to create and you can upload a separate thumbnail for every video so that'd be very time consuming to do so what I always do is just choose upload randomly and then I upload some thumbnails so in this example I have 19 of them and uncheck my video here and click open and it's going to upload all 19 of these images and for each video that it uploads and publishes it's going to randomly pick one of these to use as its thumbnail okay you can add translations if you want to for this video I'm not going to do that but if you did it's just like the other ones you click add translations and that, that's all you have to do videos per day I'm going to leave this one at five I'm going to be kind of aggressive with this account it's it's an older account I have that's about a year old I've done a lot with it so I'm hoping um, it's going to it's going to last for a while we'll see unfortunately CBD is an extremely competitive niche and there's a lot of people out there that don't want your videos and so there's a good chance I may get my videos reported uh, but we'll see what happens upload interval I'm gonna change this to just 20 minutes uh, it's probably best to leave at around 60 or even longer 
But for this one, like I said, I'm gonna to try to go a little bit aggressive and see what happens. YouTube channels, I'm gonna pick my channel here that I have set up. Uh, I don't have any YouTube groups. Uh, I'm not synced up with SendLab or SendWire. If you're ready to start the campaign, you click Activate Campaign. And then Publish Method, you wanna keep this on Create and Publish Videos, and then Upload on YouTube. I don't recommend you do live on YouTube, especially for a while because we're noticing that a lot of accounts that are using only live uploads, they're getting banned also. So before I start this, I wanna go back to the top and explain to you a little bit about the campaign types. So in this one, I'm using my own video, but if I didn't wanna use my own video, let me, let me go down here for a second. I'm gonna untick this and click Save Campaign just in case I mess it up. And then I wanna go back in. Okay, so under campaign type, if I click specific business it's going to change this so what it's going to do is it's going to ask for a web address and when you put that web address in there it's going to pull the content from that page into and uses the video script and then it's going to use its text-to-speech to read off that script in the videos that it creates so there's a big difference whether you choose you want to upload your video or if you want to do a specific business or a general business so also when you use specific business, if you come down here, you'll notice that the intro text is going to be the business name, phone number, and website URL. You can change that by ticking this box and writing in whatever you want the intro or outro text to be. But by default, when you set it up to use as a specific business, um, it's, that's what it's going to do. It's going to pull the content from your website and your phone number here, and that's what it's going to use as the intro and the outro. And so this is a more simple way to do it, especially if you're doing individual videos. But uh, what I wanna do in this case is I wanna do mass videos. So I'm gonna keep this as using my own video where I can put in all my keywords and just have it create a ton of videos for me. Now, something else you can do down here is they have channel groups. And so what you can do here is just like in the other versions of Yive is you can create a group of YouTube accounts. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll create these videos and then pick through those groups as it's uploading the video. So you're not just using one YouTube account, but you're using multiple, which is also better for your YouTube channel. That way, if you wanna upload, say, 10 a day, you can upload 10 and spread them out through three, four, five accounts instead of trying to put them all on one account and increasing your chances of getting that account banned. So this is all set up and ready to go now. We have our image, we have our keywords, our tags, description. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and come down here, activate the campaign and click save campaign and then we're gonna start it. Okay, so now the campaign is active. It's starting to run. It's gonna take it a few minutes and once it, I'm gonna come back here in a couple minutes and you'll see when you click on campaign right now, there's nothing here. But you're going to see since we have scheduled five a day, it's going to start processing the first five of those videos and rendering them. And then it's going to upload the first one. And then every 20 minutes after, it's going to upload the next four until it reaches how many ever we set per day. And then that starts over every day. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video for a couple minutes and then we'll come back and refresh it and see if the videos are, have started yet. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it right here because um, there's some other things that I gotta do right now and I can't wait. Uh, thing is with Yive, depending on how many people's using it, it may take a few more minutes or so for it to process and render. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're using it. Uh, but right now it's already created. You can see here over the past uh, 11 minutes, it's created four videos working on the fifth and as soon as that one's done, it's gonna start uploading it. You can see where it has a different keyword for the title of each video here. And then it also added the end of the spun content that I added to there as well. This is how you use Yive SMB. So just have your video ready. If you wanna use your own video, if not, um, depending on if you're using mass videos or if you're gonna do for like a single business, a single product promotion, um, you can do that too. But I'll put all the links and resources for all the things that I've mentioned below this video in the description box if you guys want to check those out also. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Otherwise, I will put my Facebook group link under this video also. I highly recommend if you guys use these tools or even if you just want to be part of our group where we talk a lot about this kind of stuff, 
to try to request to join my group uh, because we do talk a lot about Yive and we're highly involved with video marketing and other types of affiliate marketing as well. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.